Hey tribe, welcome back to my channel. So I'm bringing you another prediction that is gonna be really quick. We'll see what to pay attention to, what kind of messages we have for you for the next couple of days. So pile number one is on your left, pile number four is on your right. Take a moment if you need to stop this video and I'll see you in timestamps. Hello tribe, whoever has chosen pile number one, let's see what we have for you guys. So. We have the Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. I really like seeing that for you here, guys. We have Dancing in the Rainbow, which is one of the happiest cards in the Ocean deck. It says, break free from whatever you are feeling is holding you back. Express happiness, find out what you truly desire. Interesting, together with Akasha card here, it seems like you guys are very assertive where you're going towards to. So something might have happened or will happen where you're gonna feel really happy where you're at in your journey. I like that for you. It seems like you are guarding that gateway over there with the emperor here. You know exactly where you need to be and you're not going to allow anyone to interfere. It's interesting. It seems like you are guiding what it is that you feel is good for you. Uh, when it comes to life paths, I believe that this pile, pile number one, um, is already on their life path. You at least have an idea what it is that you want to do and it's part of your mission. Others of you, you're going to feel really happy in your work. I'm seeing you almost thriving. It's saying keep on going. Where you're going is where you need to be. You are in the right place place now let's let's take a look at the emperor now again this emperor if you can see this guy is guarding the door and he's also taking care of a child so this child can be your project your idea or an actual child you feel really structured the next couple of days you feel whatever it is that you have worked towards to is almost like it's ready to show its rewards for you and you are claiming it overall happiness for pile number one i really like seeing that you are thriving a very professional pile i'm looking at this empress um tie and a shirt and you're standing very firmly both feet on the ground whoever or whatever would threaten your I'm hearing newly built foundation, you will make sure that it's protected. So I don't know what you are creating or building or taking care of here, but it seems like you are really, really assertive here, guys. And it makes sense with the Akasha card here. It seems like you, you're very knowledgeable, you're very strong, and you're very... You've experienced a lot and the next couple of days seems like you're either dealing with a person who's protecting you or you are this person who is protecting your goal and happiness. You're not allowing anyone to ruin it for you. And it's not that you have to fight. It's not that you have to get into arguments. Um, it seems like people will see your power the next couple of days. So this is a nice read, pal number one. That was a speedy reading for you guys. I hope it's helpful and I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Hello, pal number two people. Let's see what we have for you the next couple of days. All right, so we have the Hero Fund. Interesting. We have Disengage from Outcomes and we have the up the ever of folding rose. Now, these two for me go together. Look, we have this engage from outcomes. It says, let go so you can open yourself to the highest love that you can deserve, that you can deserve, that you deserve. Can't speak, guys, can't read. Find ways to release worry or any unresolved lack of forgiveness you might be holding on to. And then the ever unfolding rose says crack open. It's happening for you, not to you. As well as the year of fun. It seems like you guys, you feel, the way you feel to me the next couple of days, what's important, you're going to realize 
that there is some kind of lack of self-forgiveness here in this journey of yours. It may pop up out of nowhere. Maybe a conversation will trigger that understanding. And you're going to be like, you know what? Actually, I will just go with a flow. Whatever is happening right now around, and I want to say almost with this Hierophant card in the world as well as my own life, it's not actually happen happening against me. It's giving me a really, really important idea or wisdom that I didn't know I needed. Some kind of information will come through here, guys. Either, but you see it somewhere on the screen, on the social media, or maybe something will trigger this understanding for you. And you're gonna be like, you know what? I'm actually just gonna go with the flow. I'm gonna live through this very peacefully. Because you understand whatever has happened until this point, it was all for your own good. And maybe before you didn't get it that way. Maybe before you were like, damn it, you know, this is shit. Um, why is this happening? And the next couple of days, you will start seeing clarity. It's much clearer for you why certain events took place and where you need to go towards to. Keep an eye on uh, people who spread wisdom too. Any mentors, teachers. Um, I'd say for some of you, whatever you do in life, you may want to apply a traditional approach and kind of simplify things for yourself. Uh, you won't be overstructuring. You won't be stressing. You will just kind of be very accepting what is around you and you will step into this journey very gracefully. Self-forgiveness here is happening the next couple of days. I don't know what it is that you're holding um, onto from the past, but it seems like you are letting it go and you're releasing it. Maybe for some time you didn't want to acknowledge it. You're like, yeah, I kind of let this go now but only mentally as an idea but um really when it comes to emotions have i and i think uh, that's something that you're doing you're taking time to realize what needs to be let go of this is a big surrender pile i think you're surrendering to any events that are happening around as well as in your life so i hope that this made sense pile number two that was a quick speedy reading and i'm gonna catch you in the next one bye for now Hello, pile number three people. So let's see what we have for you for the next couple of days. We have the age of light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. Whoa. We have polite declaration. It says you can move in whatever direction you need to accomplish your goals. It's time for you to get out there, claim what is yours and stay in your power. Nice. And then we have the 10 of swords. This 10 of swords came up reversed and I felt like it. So we'll see. What is this? What is this pile number? Three. Now, you have what you're realizing and what you're doing, what you're using. You're using an ability of yours to channel information from the source, from the above, in order to somehow portray this message to the ones around you. And this time will be really precious. You may hear from people saying, listen, you actually are the one who is really, really helping me out. You help me to overcome really tragic events in my life or you've helped me to fix myself in a way. You trigger this healing for me. So um, I'd say really good feedback when it comes to people around you. It seems like there is a lot of appreciation coming through your way and the next couple of days might be very intense. You might be picking up on things that you haven't picked up maybe a week uh, earlier. So listen to what you're being told because you're very connected to the source, your guides, whichever energy is the closest to you now. Sorry guys, my neighbors are refurbishing the flat and I really need to make this video for you guys here. Now with polite declaration, it says you can move in whatever direction you need to accomplish your goals. It's time for you to get out there, claim what's yours and stay in your power. It seems like you're going to start noticing that the rewards of your hard work are coming in. Now for others of you, you've gone through a really difficult period of time here. Um, I feel like it's to do with the physical though. And you finally 
finding ways how to heal yourself if you had any physical you know maybe hurt or trouble or illness in the past week or you felt a, a bit meh physically it seems like it's over and done with you stepping into your power and this reminds me of um, an awakening phase where you feel this pain traveling from your root chakra upwards and you release it and it goes bang, you know, you're like, well, I'm channeling like crazy now. What is going on with my energy? And I think for some of you might be feeling that. So pay attention to bodily sensations. Overall, really powerful pile. So use your gifts talents abilities the next couple of days it's not only needed for your own good but it seems like for everyone else around you really great feedback and really nice energy pile number three i hope this is helpful that was another speedy reading for you and i'm gonna catch you in the next one bye for now Hey, pile number four, by the way, my neighbors are refurbishing their flat literally next door. So I'm going to try and um, be as quick as I can so that they still not dr don't start drilling again. So for you guys, we've got deep replenishment. We like that. The retreat, rest, be held. We have every step counts. Yeah, it seems like, you know, every step counts as well as deep re replenishment card. Look at the colors too. Vibing, right? Um, it's time to take some time off. You're gonna start feeling um, almost like cared for by people around you, by your own self too, guys, I must say. I think you're taking some time off to relax, have a bath, whatever you do, you feel relaxed and you feel like you're mothering yourself. Now with this card, it says there's an advantage in taking things slowly, breathe deeply, and fully as you consider your options. Maybe some of you are going to find your way to breath work. Maybe that's something that you are exploring. Overall, we have lovers too. I like this card for you very much. This is all about heart space. You love yourself the next couple of days. You are going to find time to do things that you love. You are going to find time to maybe care for your hair. Maybe you, you kept neglecting your hair care routine, right? Anything like that will be important for you. And you're feeling different. You're feeling happier. There was some kind of a decision that you are making over here too with the lovers, but it seems like before making a decision, this can be an advice for some of you, take time to care for yourself first so that you can hear your intuition more clearly. For others, you're going to start noticing that people are showing you more affection because you are showing more affection to yourself and you're going to attract the energy that you want. By caring for yourself, what it is that you love doing and putting your focus and your energy into things that you love or yourself, that's when you're attracting the energy that's going to treat you the same way from your surroundings. So that is a really quick message, guys, here for you. Be by the way, there's some kind of either compliment or comment, some kind of comment that will come your way. It can be on social media or it can be via phone call. Whatever that would be, it's, um, it's saying, I think someone is going to tell you, pal, number four, that you have their heart literally like in this lover's card you have their heart like you are the one that this person likes spending time with and they adore your energy because somehow it seems like by you nurturing yourself and having this very motherly energy you are able to make other people feel that way where they want to do that for themselves too so this is sweet this is nice that's your quick speedy message pile number four i hope this is helpful and i'm going to catch you in the next one bye for now